Good afternoon, this is Manjusha Radhakrishnan from Gulf News. I am the entertainment editor. Today I have a very unlikely subject uh, in the hot seat. It's the spin maestro and cricketing legend from Sri Lanka, um, the Muthaya Murli Dharan. Uh, why am I speaking to him is what you must be wondering. I'm not a sports uh, reporter, but he's coming up with a movie. He's the subject of a film. He's on the other side. Your movie is all going to be about your life. How excited are you about it? Yeah, I'm very excited because I didn't think in my life they will take a, a sportsman as a movie. So uh, I think Venkat Prabhu uh, from director from South India, he just visited our foundation. I, I got a big foundation of goodness uh, to help people. So that was a big in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So he came to help the people and then he saw my picture and came. He's my wife's uh, childhood friend because they were living in Klesto in Chennai, Aryapuram. Okay. So then he came to my house and then only he asked me whether we want to take a biopic because he took Chennai 28, that um, uh, Tamil movie, because it was a big hit in uh, India. Uh, so I was little reluctant and my manager said, if you help, uh, if you give the rights to them and they might help the foundation. So I gave it. So it went like five years took me because a lot of uh, ifs and buts like, you know, Vijay Sethi wants to act first yes. and then uh, add problems like, you know, it's a political thing. And then uh, COVID came, it stopped for two years. Now we are here with 800, it's named 800 because last test wickets that I called 800. Yes. So that's why the movie named 800. So this movie is all, all about how the childhood and uh, Sri Lanka traveled through. We are from uh, India, uh, from tea plantations. Right. My grandfather in 1920s, we are third generation. So how we struggle because you know this problem was there so much. How uh, our family was in that time when I was cricket. I was in cricket also had a lot of uh, uh, problems. So those ones and then how the country was at the time uh, traveling with my life. So it's like a periodic and a biopic and it's an interesting story. If you watch, uh, definitely uh, people will like it and people will know about who I am and uh, where I am from and everything. And it's only 20-25% of the movie is cricket. Okay. But inside everything, the stories, how the people go through in 90s in cricket, how in 2000s and like that, it's uh, elaborate everything. So it's going to be interesting. So it's uh, running in India at the moment and yes. running very well in Sri Lanka. And uh, uh, I thought uh, Gulf is, uh, uh, UAE is something special for me because I have in Saja cricket ground, I have taken 100 wickets. <laughs> Only myself and Vasim Akram yes. has done in that Saja cricket ground. So we used to come from 1990 <laughs> Two to I think it's 2002 it stopped Saja now it's Dubai right so I played a lot of matches here a lot of fans and a lot of Sri Lankans a lot of uh, Ind Indians and also mainly uh, Malayalam people because a lot of uh, yeah and also uh, there are a lot of Pakistanis Bangladeshis all cricket lovers so this comes in Two languages we took it, Tamil, uh, Hindi, Telugu and uh, Sinhalese. Oh, I see. Okay. So we're going to release here in Dubai uh, in uh, uh, today, today is a Friday, um, Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> it's Are you superstitious day. about the no, 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 date no, no, at all? No. Uh, so it will be shown today, uh, Hindi and Tamil, uh, Tamil right. version at 7 o'clock in Dubai. Right. I think tickets are all sold at the moment. No, no, no I'm so happy right for you. And then, mm. And tomorrow they're showing the seven o'clock uh, on 14th of uh, this month, um, showing the Sinhalese version. Then the distributors will carry on. Yes, uh, keeping of course. I, mean, I really hope, you know, uh, through word of mouth and people just love a good story at the end of the day. Uh, most biopics, right, be it Hollywood or Bollywood, people are worried whether it's going to be hagiography. Hey, is it just going to gloss over your, you know, not so uh, great parts of your life? Mm. Did you tell the makers that, you know what, it's going to be a Watson movie? approach where even if I don't come across as the perfect human being it's okay see one thing when they ask the thing I told them is uh, it has to be a very true story 
So the woman directed uh, Sripati was two years in Sri Lanka. Spoke to every people, spoke to my parents, stayed within our house, went to our ancestors' place, everything, and Indian, all the cricketers, everyone he researched. Then him and uh, Shyam Karnarne is one of the uh, biggest book writers. Uh, he has a book of uh, this price also, he got it recently. Mm -hmm. So he and him um, collaborated. Uh, collaborated and um, screenplay, they wrote the screenplay. Uh, but it is, I checked about 10 times, right? It has to be true. Oh. See, every word, everything it has been a true story. And I want it to be a true story because it is not to. Uh, portrait me or uh, sides okay whatever the happen actual uh, things we have to do that and how, how the country suffers it's all there <laughs> because if you see the movie definitely you'll understand this is actually it's happen and true because this is what Sri Lanka is about. Brilliant. Uh, the popular opinion is that you are one of the most lovable and amiable guys around. But you are very controversial as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that happened. Other controversies such as your uh, perhaps your bullying method, all of that being addressed. So, uh, see, I didn't want controversial. See, I want to be, uh, I'm, I'm only one thing is me, thing is me controversial is I spade or spade. I speak the truth. Because whether in my life, I studied in age of 6 to 18 in the hostel, Catholic hostel. They brought me in that hostel. So in that, we are friends, right? 60 in a dormitory. It's about 3,500 ch children in the school okay. and 600, 700 in the hostel. Uh -huh. So 60 in the dormitory. So you have fights, you have everything. You have all religions, all everybody. Yeah? So to me, you think we might be wrong. Tomorrow I will go if I realize and say sorry to him. I want to see his face for next whole year. True. Right? It just because teaches you how to hustle. Um, so when, when someone does something, we have to forgive and forget. So I'm sake of I'm not saying in 1995. I'll just give an example. Uh, this is what uh, my life is all about. Example I'll give. Daryl called me in 1995. I was shocked and upset at the time and yeah. everything. Yeah. But, Episode properly ICC and everything. I got through it. In 2000, H. Baston, he was umpiring. So after five years, umpiring. When you the test match before, umpire go and checks the wicket and he'll be standing and watching and everything what's happening. We will warm up. Hmm. So I excused my captain and just walked to him hmm. and I shake his hand and said, how are you, how's doing everything life? And I made it comfortable because according to ICC laws, uh, you can't call anymore in the middle. Hmm. So he will be worried. Mm -hmm. But I forget and forgive and finished that. So I did that. He wrote in his book also like that. Right. right? So, so mm -hmm. I'm saying, actually, I uh, mean it. Uh, so this is the way I live. Sometimes, like, uh, see, the controversial came, so many controversial. Cricket is, that is, I came from Australians and everything and yes. umpires and that went through whole 14 years of my career. I had to go test and prove myself, keep on. But I'm a controversial is like, you know, there's a war, right? Everyone understood. So, maybe some, they expect me to talk uh, for Tamils. See, when I was in 1995, I was 21 years old. I'm only Tamil. Minority getting got into the team. Everyone is Sinhalese. It's 80% of Sinhalese and Muslims so, are 5% and everything. Every religion and everything back me. They supported me. At the war was peak at the time, even they could have rejected or he's a Tamil and we don't want to support him. Teammates, Arjuna, like a father figure, he supported me. Right. Like that, that's why I could go over. That's why in 1998, I uh, made this foundation of goodness. Yes. We serve close to 50,000 people, families, and 10,000 education wise, free education. We have 80 sectors. So, that's why we need to see this place to help people. Right, right. right? So, because they have done to me everything as a country, they think as a, I'm a Sri Lankan and a cricketer, I, we want to support him. Right. And for the country wise, same thing I also have. Because war comes, both people have problems. That's politically measured that of course they, that people like us it doesn't matter for us we will affect it mm. we will all all community will get affected not only one community will get affected 
so they want to take a stand on their side if you take a stand what do you think about the majority people what they will think mm. where they so there's no right or wrong i mean you're damned if you do damned yeah, if you don't because i am not a political person so mm. i have to be i said always neutral. been a neutral like you know i'm a sri lankan first born a hindu yes that you can't change born a tamil that you can't change so when i say you know so when I studied in Tamil year 1 to 12. Okay? So, I didn't study in any other language. So, I have this Tamil language in the, in the house who talk Tamil. Okay. And I played for Tamil Union Athletic Club, first class cricket. Right. Right? And I married from South India, a Tamil Hindu family. What else I have to prove on Tamil? What more can I do to prove my Tamilness? So, I can go and say, I am Tamil and so the political people has to make sure that they are vicious and vicious in the table or however negotiate and get it their thing. Mm. In a popular figures like I, we are popular in cricket. So we should not involve in that. Yeah, just don't, yeah, keep uh, keep the politics aside. I mean, yeah. the game is, yeah, game is not, see, the game does the game, not have game, uh, no Sports religion. in the world will unite people. It's not uh, divide. Yes. So, <laughs> The expectation to divide. Right, right. So I am not for that. Okay. In, interesting, when you were making this movie, Vijay Setupati was supposed to lead the uh, movie. But due to backlash, you wrote and said, why don't you step down? You itself, as an actor, you don't have to get into this. This is my battle. Yeah. That's what your words yeah. were. So Do you think that yes, was a great uh, thing to yeah, have a bankable actor? I mean, as a as a person who's covered movies, I can't tell you the importance of star power. Yeah. Like even if it's a crappy movie, sometimes because of the star because power. Star power yeah. So see, for me is see directors and producers want to take the movie because of my story, such as to world should know, mm. not because otherwise they, they will come and take every cricketer. No, why they choose me? So different reason. So they are not expecting to make profit or anything. They want to make a good movie. So they thought Vijay Sethupathi is a great actor and his face and everything can matches me. Right. So and also he's from Tamil and everything. So it's a great actor. It would have helped a lot on the uh, screen, like you know, in uh, if we have now, it's be a super hit. If he acted, just the attention it yes. was. Attention created by the people because he's a super actor. Mm. So why I said this at the time they were they were threatening him politically some people, and threatening his family, and he has about six seven movies signed. Their producers are upset because of these people can make problems there. So I thought he wanted to do that in any cost. But I said to him. You just make sure that your career is important to us rather than my movie. My movie, it will come. Some will think. Right? But it will eventually It will be made. But, made. but your career, it is your still starting. The time only started in the way, right? In yeah, the poster way. was released. So, yeah. Yeah. No, started his career oh, also. Okay. At that early, point. early part. No, uh, see, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's five years gone, right? So. It's been five years, yeah. Right, so, yeah, yeah. so uh, that time he was, uh, he was always, um, see, he's a good person and I want him to do well in his, and he could be a superstar in this. No, that's very really selfless so and very uh, I told him, pragmatic. Yeah, you can, mm -hmm. and also he said, finally he was so disappointed and he, newspapers when he's leaving the project asked this, he said, uh, he only said, Manakam Nandri, that's it. And, mm -hmm. Because he's so disappointed. Even today he's disappointed. Of course, because I mean, I can imagine. And Madhur has done a really yes. good job because yes. he, if you see me in the movie, today I saw, I, today, I saw the today, trailers, the resemblance was uncanny. Of course, today. of course. So, when I watch you say, mm -hmm. he's done immensely. Okay. Because nobody can uh, do that because the way his bowling actions and my mannerism. As Did he took, spend a lot of time? No, no, zero time. Oh really? He I looks a lot. I mean, even Sripati have made him to watch movies and everything. Sripati has told my manager. Sripati knows me two years. He was with me. Acha. He, and he shadowed you for two years. This is the director. So ah, director yeah. has been the point of mind to the actor. No actor Definitely. will act according to that. Excellent. So Excellent. It's, it's a combination. And also, this move, this good people have done. Like you know, Adi Rajaseke is a cinematographer. Excellent. Then Gibran's music. So 
uh, Praveen's editing. So, so everything uh, uh, is so uh, big, 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 big. It's, it's, a, it's a costly movie. Yes. But I know in fact, I for fact because in theaters, you no know, people doesn't have leisure time. So when you come to a big actors like you know Rajini Khan, Vijay, like you know in Tamil, I'm saying Shahrukh Khan. People, there is a um, uh, movie buff will go. Yeah. This is a by biopic. default, by this, yeah. default, yeah. This is yeah. a great movie. So this one will uh, mm. will run also in theaters, but it will run in OTT bigger than anything else. Yes, of course, brilliant. I really hope. I uh, have you read the reviews? I hope the reviews have been positive. See, but the review wise, this is the best movie came mm. last one week or two week. No mm. other movies better review than everyone you mm. watch the movie. They gave full up praise because even I was shocked because I didn't think they will take this well. And you have to today when you speak to in the out of that people and ask how once you finish, yes. ask few questions whether how good it is or whatever, what do you think, the emotions and everything. Definitely you will get the answer. Oh brilliant. On that note, I really hope the movie does well because at the end of the day it should be seen by maximum number of people. That's the I know so much. To be enjoyed as yeah. a community. So, mm -hmm. I love uh, UAE and uh, Gulf country because we are coming for last 20 years. So specially made for this because of uh, I did mm -hmm. in India and yes. everywhere. Sri and you Lanka. chose UAE as well. I'm so glad. Mm -hmm. So Sharjah mm -hmm. has such uh, beloved so, memories. Yes. See, UAE is like my third home. Like if Sri Lanka is first and second is India. <laughs> then third home. So UAE, I know a lot of people, a lot of friends. And also I have business here. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Okay. So, and recently I got the residency visa also. Oh, golden visa as well. <laughs> no, not gold. I didn't apply for gold. Oh, okay. I eventually two year that visa, the residency yes. visa because we have a company here. Okay. So we did that and future maybe. Because this is a place like uh, whatever said and done when you come, it's like a home and it's like a such a lovely place. Every year somehow I will make it two or three times here. Excellent. I'm so glad it do not stop coming because there's an <laughs> army of uh, people who love you. Yeah.